with my keys. He, he hid my keys and he wouldn't let me leave. Okay? So cops, all kinds of cops come. All right? My brother comes running over. Says, what's going on? Willie came out with a whole different story and my brother believed it. Oh, you're talking about Danny. Yes. Because he lives right across the... came out with a whole different story and said it was Tim and Timothy in the argument. Huh. So I said, no, that's not true, to, um, Dan. Dan says, I'm not getting involved. So he left. Well, I figured I can't go to my family. I can't go to no one. Okay? So... Willie was telling me, Gary started talking again, calling again. I said, yeah, we haven't talked to him for quite a while. Yeah. When we lived in Jacksonville, well, that was we my were fault. always talking. That was my fault. I should have never gave him Willie's phone number. <laughs> well, that set him off more. Okay. That sets him off more. I'm a slut. I'm a whore. I'm cheating on him. Um, you love him more. That's why you haven't had sex with me for a year. Um, I to just the only thing I'm good for is shaving your cookie. I said, well, you know something, motherfucker. One, it's how you treat me. So I. We joined the church, thinking that was going to help him. It didn't help him. No, so he, he walked away from the church. He needs medication. the kids always went. He needs medication is what he needs. <clears throat> I told him that for his anger and his confusion. So I asked the cops even that said that. He needs to be, something's wrong with him. Uh-huh. Okay, because after the cops came in, he said, the cop said, something's definitely wrong. He got padlocks for all on everything. And you're explaining how everything is happening in the house. And he don't remember half of the things that he does. What, something is not, something's triggered. He, okay. wasn't, he wasn't like that. He refuses to go for help. But then when I, when I left and almost had a friggin' nervous, I almost killed myself. In the woods, lost, seeing all white cloud in front of me. I was going through some kind of shock or something. And I, the only thing in my brain was take my vehicle, wrap it around the tree. Oh my God. Okay. I was so close to it. My twin sister was, I pocket called her on accident, and I was screaming and talking to my mom, and she heard my voice, and I haven't talked to Gary for a long period of time. It had been two years since, since um, Willie's father and mom died. So, somehow I pocket called her. She overheard my voice, picked up my voice. She called 911 thinking that we lived in Jacksonville, North Carolina. So we had Jacksonville, North Carolina place. We had Carteret County, Onville County, and um, Newport place. Wow. All looking for me with the ambulance. Because I was lost. And I wouldn't tell no one what, where I was. Wow. I was just in that that I don't know what happened to me that day. So Willie was looking for me. Almost, and then at that day, I almost lost my job because he didn't know he was talking to the family member of my client. Wow. Okay. It was the neighbor's family. So he was talking crap and saying that my wife had a nervous breakdown. She was lost in the woods. Um, that's why she's not here. She, she's 
she's late for work. Well, that went very well for my client's son. Okay? Yeah. So, for instance, I, I finally get to work. I'm all calm. Well, Willie, I bump into Willie. Willie says, I said, I'm okay. Just go because you're the one who caused this. I said, you need to go before I lose my job. Well, he refused. He sat there till all these three police cars end up at my job um, little driveway. So I had to call Brinson, and I said, Brinson, I'm sorry, but I have all kinds of cops here. They are just checking to see if I'm okay, and they're going to be leaving. I didn't explain anything more because it was embarrassment. Yeah. Well, that was fine. They didn't fire me that day. The other day, um, when I left them, he decides to call my job 10 times straight. And I was keep trying to hang it up because my client was in bed. Yeah. Well, he left a message over the, boy, um, the phone. Well, they got it. They fired me the next day. Oh, my God. On a work phone. At her, his house. Well, that set me off. That makes me hate him more. Because I was making damn good money. Then he says, I want 75% of everything. This is all Aaron's stuff. Well, I got rid of all my stuff. And where do you think all my money went? Wow. Okay? So he's demanding 75% off. I'm getting texts, um, but I didn't turn them in. Okay? I was giving him chances. He was saying that he was going to take my, my power off and go get, and I said, the, um, the pond is 960. I can't do that work. He says, well, that's your fucking problem. Well, that told me right there, he don't love me. He's using me. Wow. So 950, and I already paid nine, 950 to top, uh, metric deposit three years ago. Why would I want to pay it again? And he took every bill, all the money I made all these years, he put every bill as his, he's the primary. It left my name off the, um, the bill. So you so can, wow. Everything is a deposit. So, what was it? When I knew that things were wasn't working out way before Dairy Falls, Willie, um, three weeks before Christmas, I started painting, fixing the walls, painting everything. I told him I need to be on your bank account. There was a reason. Okay, I need you to be on your bank account because. I've been putting up with you for 20 some years. And if you and I want to be on the bank account, well, he won't put me on saving, but he put me on checking. Yeah. Okay. He made a scene. That told me right there, too, what he was up to. He made a scene in front of the teller saying, she is not going on my saving. Bad enough, she's they use it to cash her check. Okay? Yeah. So I said, well, I remember this, motherfucker. I kept it in my brain, okay? So I said, let him keep doing this. Let him keep doing this to, a, to all of us. Well, then, so then, hold on. And then right after that, New Year's Christmas came. Christmas, she blew blew up on Christmas Eve all over something stupid over I bought 
the kids way too much and he didn't get the I I only got him a few things. I had got him six things for Christmas. I don't, appreciate it. I don't heard I heard about it. Timmy got another PlayStation four. Amber got a new TV, a new cell phone. Yes. So I spent probably two thousand dollars on Christmas. Okay? But that's not counting. William got like maybe twenty five gifts. Tim Am Timothy got seven. Amber got seven gifts. Yeah. What Ray got more than thirty was because they got more because they they wanted clothes, you know, what I'm saying and yeah. you know, um, all that shit. But the people, the ones who got the rod, they made all their Christmas was what they wanted and got it all. Okay, Willie, I asked him what he wanted for Christmas. He says, "I don't want shit from you." I was nice enough and got him six things. And I told him every six things I gave, got him. Wow. Yeah. He's going to treat me like shit. And, and then, then Timothy got a PlayStation 4. Yeah. No lie. He went out, went on um, HSN and had to get a, a touch touch computer and a drone and spend all that money for those two things he says now that's called Christmas for me how selfish you always think about your children before yourself uh, yeah. he didn't buy one Christmas gift for these kids and it break my ass for two months to make sure my kids had Christmas because he says they don't need to have it. Wow. Yeah. This is what I've been putting up with. He's never... He and there's was, a lot more. He was never like there's that. There's a lot here. more, but I don't... Huh? He was never like that here. In Hudson. Uh, he wasn't... The, he, the name calling was Tiny Bit. Okay? Tiny Bit. But I couldn't deal with that. So... What happened with him, with me and Derry in New York, he pushed me away when my kids, William, Timothy, and Amber, I was working um, 11 to 7 shift. I was, I came home, and he, they told me, Susan was upstairs with him in my bedroom. Willie told them, get back downstairs. And he tried to tell me, they were discussing about a pool. Bullshit. Why would you tell my kids to come back downstairs? So I said to his mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, his mom, I told him what happened, or what happened. I said, he's cheating on me. I know it. I said, my kid told me Susan was upstairs. You know who I'm talking about, the ugly Susan. It's been a long time. Susan and the guy, he, she was date Debbie. No, her sister was Debbie. Just vaguely, I remember that shit. Okay, well, Susan was upstairs and and they were they were doing it. I guess that's how I take it. When you're gonna invite, well, I'm not home, and you're gonna invite a woman up in the bedroom and shut the door and tell the kids to get downstairs. Something hasn't been happening. So he denied it and denied it and denied it, but I'm not stupid. Well, Gary, me and Gary was always close, but not close as having sex and all that. Okay, honest to God. Then he cheated on me twice. I said, well, I'm gonna get your best friend. It's over. Damn. So I told him. Damn you. Huh? Damn, you could have just came to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him. I told him. I said, I'm going to go with your best friend. See how it feels, motherfucker. 
themselves. 